so we've had some uh, video uh, malfunctions, but now Winnie's working with Pitch, and we've been working with him for the last, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe, and he's getting reinforced for looking at Winnie, for paying attention to what Winnie does, and um, she feeds him as close to her knee as possible so that he learns to stay in that area. The leash is loose. You notice that, that the leash is hanging down by his neck. Um, if it gets tight, like the way it is now, she just stops moving, waits for him to look back at her, and then she reinforces that. And he's doing really well. He wanted to get to me, um, which is typical. And this is really the way that you should be practicing leash walking. It should be in like a driveway with just very few distractions, up and down and up and down. Don't try to take him on the street into new and exciting areas. It's all about being boring enough that he's willing to pay attention to you. And you can see the rate of reinforcement, meaning how often he's getting his food reward for staying near you. At this age, it's really important that it's frequent. And he could be on your right side or he could be on your left side. If he's on your left side, put the leash in your right hand and then feed him with your left. So you're yes. able to feed as close to your knee as possible. He'll keep his body nice and straight. Um, and if you have him on the right side, then you just switch it around. The leash is on your left, in your left hand and you're gonna feed with your right hand. And it doesn't matter. In fact, it's good for dogs to be comfortable walking on both sides of your body. Nice job, good guy.